Welcome to Solve It Like a Marketer. I'm Stephen Hobey. Today, I'll be answering the question, what is permission marketing? If you'd like this video, please subscribe and don't go away. So what is permission marketing? Well, permission-based marketing is a term that was coined by Seth Godin. Uh, he was an American author and former dot-com executive. Now, the theory proposes how businesses can market to subscribers who opt in to receiving offers and announcements from a brand. So, Godin explains that consumers need to have the power to choose how they're marketed to. So, when consumers agree to receive marketing emails, marketers in turn can better understand and craft messages that resonate with the uh, customer. So let's take an example. Here in Canada, we have Tim Hortons rewards cards. So, you know, people go to Tim Hortons, they drink the coffee. So they're more likely to sign up for rewards so that they can take advantage of the incentives. So that here, the customer made a choice to opt in. If we dig a little further, the concept of permission marketing is actually broken down into two schools, express permission marketing and implied permission marketing. So in express permission marketing, the consumer provides their email to receive marketing messages. So for example, they might sign up for a newsletter. Express marketing is common when creating new business relationships. On the other hand, in implied permission marketing, the business has uh, an existing relationship with the consumer. So our example of Tim Hortons would apply. In the end, it's all about trust. By ignoring opt-ins and just bombarding consumers with marketing emails, this typically turns customers off a brand. It creates frustration, privacy violations, and lost business. So if you are interested in learning more, I have included a link in the description to Seth's book, Permission Marketing, Turning Strangers into Friends and Friends into Customers, as well as a link to his website. So is permission marketing worth it for you as a business? So for one, it is cost effective. It allows you to build and maintain strong client relationships. Your aim being to build brand loyalty. So you can also create new leads by encouraging new customers to join and receive your latest incentives. I should mention that this process is not only good for businesses, but nonprofits as well. So whether you're trying to increase donations to a charity or memberships, the same approach applies. But what about the flip side? So typically permission marketing emails are often automated and therefore you have to be very careful not to oversaturate the recipient. They may have opted in, but if you are bombarding them with everyday emails, they will likely lose interest. Sometimes less is more. You want them to pay attention when you do send something out. It also has to be worth them noticing. Uh, you also don't want to send them information that has nothing to do with your product, service, or brand. That's also likely to create disinterest. So make every email message count with content that matters to them. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. You can also catch me on Instagram and Facebook for extra content. And well, you never miss an episode. The links are below. I will see you every week with a new video. So please stay tuned and together let's solve it like a marketer.